Thanks, Ernie, and thanks uh, for being all here today for a historic moment in the history of Johns Hopkins lacrosse. Three months ago, I charged a committee pulled from our trustees, alumni, faculty, and staff with evaluating whether Johns Hopkins should seek conference affiliation. This diligent group considered a host of different factors, including how affiliation would affect the experience of current student athletes and the recruiting of future athletes, how would it would affect the team's schedule, whether we could preserve matchups against our traditional rivals, and whether it would have any implications for other sports, including our women's program, or affect the heart of the institution, our academic mission. I want to uh, offer my thanks to this committee, chaired by Jerome Schneidman, who's sitting here in the front row, and Chris Watson, members of the championship teams of 1967 and 2005. During its deliberations, the committee received input from literally hundreds of members of our broad community. And at the end of the painstaking process, they came to a unanimous decision uh, with a full appreciation for the significance of that uh, recommendation. After consulting with the leadership of our athletics and men's lacrosse programs, I accepted the committee's core recommendation. Today, we are announcing our decision to join with the Big Ten Conference as an affiliate member in men's lacrosse. I'm delighted that the commissioner of the Big Ten Conference, Jim Delaney, was able to enjoy, uh, to join us today for this historic announcement. In the storied history of the Big Ten, the conference has never before offered an affiliate membership. But the compelling synergies of this affiliation are clear. As the Big Ten establishes its organized play in men's lacrosse, Johns Hopkins will have the opportunity to impart knowledge accumulated over more than a century to help establish the lacrosse culture of the conference. We will be able to preserve one of our long-standing rivalries with the University of Maryland and our critical relationship with ESPNU, an agreement that the Big Ten understands and is indeed happy to support. And we will be able to ensure that men's cross team can participate every season in the most competitive and rewarding atmosphere while contending, as we always do, for the NCAA National Championship. Big Ten institutions differ in size and scope from Johns Hopkins, but they have consistently maintained the kind of dedication to research and teaching and commitment to the academic success of their student athletes that are the hallmarks of the Johns Hopkins experience. As our committee understood when making its recommendation, this decision may represent the single greatest change in Johns Hopkins men's lacrosse in more than a century. I'm grateful for the thoughtful process that has led us to this historic place, and I'm confident in the success of our shared endeavor in the years to come. Now, I am delighted, truly delighted, to introduce Jim Delaney, the longstanding and highly respected commissioner of the Big Ten. In his 24 years at the helm of the Big Ten, he has overseen the expansion of the conference while constantly ensuring the preservation of its core values, including gender equity, community outreach, and most importantly, quality athletic and academic experience for its students. His accomplishments include the adoption of a gender equity program that created more than 2,000 new opportunities for women and the implementation of conference-wide sportsmanship initiatives. The commissioner's presence here today alone speaks to our shared excitement around this new relationship between Johns Hopkins Men's Lacrosse and the Big Ten. Commissioner Delaney. Uh, this is uh, indeed a, a proud and exciting moment for the Big Ten Conference. Uh, yesterday at our uh, summer meeting of, of presidents and chancellors, uh, they voted unanimously to accept John Hopkins University as an affiliate lacrosse member. Um, synergy, I think, is, is the right word. Um, Johns Hopkins has been involved with lacrosse, I think, 12 years before the Big Ten was founded in 1895. Um, this is a growth sport in the Midwest, and I know uh, has deep, deep roots in the mid-Atlantic and up into the New York area. And so um, we'll be learning, and I know how excited our coaches and our athletic directors are um, to, to establish this relationship. 
We live now in two regions of the country. The conference goes from the Atlantic Ocean to the Colorado border, from the Canadian uh, border and parts of the Mid-South. And we want to be here. Uh, we want to compete. Uh, we want to uh, collaborate. Uh, and we want to grow together. We want to learn um, from Johns Hopkins uh, experience and from its uh, culture of success. Uh, our universities uh, sponsor very broad-based opportunities for its students and very broad-based opportunities for its student athletes. Uh, we have, with the addition of, of Maryland Rutgers, almost 10,000 men and women athletes playing, uh, about evenly divided. Uh, we'll have almost 350 intercollegiate teams. and. Um, will be the largest uh, and broadest uh, offering of, of sports opportunities in the country. We also provide opportunities for students uh, at, at these comprehensive universities in significant numbers. So we're looking forward uh, to compete. We're looking forward to collaborate. Um, you know, as Tom and I talked through this over the last three or four months, uh, before I asked Mary Sue Coleman, president of Michigan, to call Ron up and indicate the interest from that level, uh, Tom just kept saying, you know, can you do this? I said, yes. He says, can you do that? I said, yes. I said, can we do this? I said, yes. So there was no negotiation. Uh, there was simply a strong desire on behalf of the Big Ten to uh, involve itself uh, with the university, with its lacrosse program, and to make friends and build relationships in this part of the country. We, we truly want to be in this corridor, and, and we think that there's no better place to start than this new relationship uh, with uh, Johns Hopkins as an affiliate uh, lacrosse member, met, uh, men's member. And so um, it's great to be here. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. And um, uh, I would say personally that this is truly a glorious day in the history of uh, men's lacrosse here at Johns Hopkins. I'm excited. Uh, I feel good about uh, joining the Big Ten. I think that uh, the exciting thing about this especially is because that conference has not yet formed uh, its lacrosse conference, Johns Hopkins will be an integral part of the Big Ten men's lacrosse uh, conference forming and establishing things that uh, perhaps have not been done in men's lacrosse before. This truly is a big step for our program. I want to thank, first of all, President Daniels. Um, he is a doer. He gets things done at this university. I can remember nervously going to see him to talk about this. And he basically said, Tom, you know, if you feel it's right for the program and if Dave is with you, let's look into this. Let's form a committee. Let's be transparent about this. And let's make sure that we get this done. And sure enough, here we are in record time. And I think Jim is, is right, having called him over the last six months or whatever it was, he kept saying yes. And I kept waiting for a no. I kept waiting for something that was going to make this impossible for us. And he basically said, Tom, if you guys want to do the things that you've asked me about, let's go ahead and do this and let's do it right. So it really is uh, a great feeling. Um, many years ago, I'm going to say two years ago, Dave, we had watched uh, one of the schools that we play, uh, which was having an average season, uh, go into their conference playoffs and win their conference championship and get into the NCAs. So Dave and I talked in great detail about the possibility of going into a conference. Um, we were concerned for many reasons. One of them was, what are our alums going to think about this? Is this big change uh, going to negatively affect our relationship with our alumni? Well, President Daniels came up with an excellent idea, and he said, let's be transparent about this. Let's make sure that we set up a website with, uh, for the purpose of receiving questions from our alums. Uh, many of the information, much of it was very, very positive about joining the Big Ten or about joining any conference for that matter. Uh, so we feel extremely good about this. And I think that it was uh, just something that we had to do at this moment of time. Division I men's lacrosse has changed so much in the last 10 years that if we had not moved forward, I think we would have uh, not done the right thing for our lacrosse program. 
So now I'd like to bring up Dave Petromala to say a few things about uh, joining this conference. Thank you for this uh, opportunity to speak to you. And uh, this is going to be an amazing, amazing step forward for this program. Thank you. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, great to see some familiar faces. Uh, Thirteen years ago, when I became the head coach, uh, there's a lot of things you ha have vision for. And uh, you have a vision for your program. And one of the visions that we had as a staff was to build the facility, to change our facilities, to, to bring Hopkins into the new millennium, so to speak. Uh, I never imagined then that I would be standing in a room like this to uh, discuss with you uh, affiliate membership with uh, a world-class conference like the Big Ten. Um, Dave, that's two of us. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure there are more than just the three of us. Um, first, let me uh, start by uh, saying thank you to President Daniels. Um, uh, we sat down in a, a committee meeting to decide how we wanted to move forward in this process. And uh, as many of the members of the media know, I'm a very private guy, not very willing to share a whole lot of information. And uh, President Daniels' first uh, charge was, I want to be very transparent. And uh, as soon as he said that, I think my head dropped, and I said, oh, boy. Um, absolutely the, the, the right way to go. Um, so I want to thank him for his leadership, his vision, uh, his willingness to, to, to listen, to, to evaluate, and to, to move forward in, in what has been the most appropriate fashion. Um, it just goes to show you the leadership that we have here at Johns Hopkins. Secondly, uh, I want to thank uh, Tom Calder. Uh, Mr. Calder and I did sit down about two years ago, and we started batting around different ideas, and I'm not sure then we really imagined that this something like this would come to fruition, but we knew at some time we might have to talk about it, uh, and then here we are today, and I want to thank him for his support, his leadership, um, and certainly um, the, uh, the legwork that he put into making this happen, and then certainly Commissioner Delaney. Um, I, I'm a bit floored when you hear something uh, to the fact that this is the first affiliate membership that's been offered. When you think about that, I, I don't think of this as a great day. I don't think of this as especially, I think of this as a monumental day uh, on, on a lot of fronts. Uh, this is a big moment for the Big Ten to be doing something like this. Uh, and I am just super excited, uh, but maybe more importantly privileged uh, that a conference that stands for ex excellence in academics and in, in athletics, uh, saw the value and, and the benefit in, in, in having Johns Hopkins join as a, an affiliate member. Um, the game of lacrosse is changing. Uh, we're all well aware of that. Um, this is an opportunity for us to, to, to take Johns Hopkins into the next phase of, of, of our longstanding legacy. Um, both the Big Ten and Hopkins lacrosse, as the commissioner alluded to, have a long-standing tradition of excellence, not just on the field, but in the classroom as well. Um, as we evaluated different options and were approached by different conferences, uh, I think it became pretty evident and fairly quickly that this was the, the best move and any appropriate move and, and, and a decision that we felt would be very beneficial to all those involved. Um, if you know anything about Hopkins lacrosse, uh, and one just needs to walk around the building, you see this rich history, this rich tradition. When we built the building, we did, that, we, we did it with that in mind. Well, we make this decision with that in mind. Um, you know, we do that with gentlemen like Mr. David Cordish, who was a, a, a big part of creating this building. We do that with past players, current players, and future players in mind. So uh, from the standpoint of the lacrosse program, we are not only excited, we are privileged. Uh, we think this is a wonderful opportunity for our program to grow, uh, to head into the next phase of, of Hopkins lacrosse. There'll be new challenges. Uh, it's great to know that we'll be able to maintain some long-standing and traditional rivalries, uh, but there's a level of excitement to develop new ones. Uh, I happen to be uh, very friendly with some of the uh, Big Ten coaches, and as I told the commissioner while we were at uh, breakfast, um, 
you know, there's not a lot of guys you can talk to, bounce ideas off her, and I just lost a few more, so uh, there's a few less guys that I'll be able to talk to. Um, but I, as you can see by the number of people that are here, um, and the fact that Commissioner Delaney is here and Diane is here, and uh, I think it tells you a lot about what this means to, to both entities. And uh, when you have a, a relationship, you want it to be on both sides. You don't want it to be a one-way street. So uh, we are very excited. I want to thank a couple of our players uh, for being here. I know they're excited as well. Uh, we'll present new challenges to us as coaches and to our uh, players. But uh, wonderful moments ahead for not only Johns Hopkins and not only the Big Ten, but for Big Ten lacrosse. Uh, exciting moments. Thank you.